If he hits the black on the other side, he's got the snooker behind the pink. <coughs> of course, at the moment, it's now what you would call a brown ball game. You think whoever pots the brown would win the frame. Well, you can hear a pin drop in the crucible at the moment. Gonna to have to come off the bolt cushion though. He's got a choice, he can play with a little bit of left hand side to move the brown. I think that's why he'll play off the bolt cushion. Touch a left hand side in the cue ball. That was the side that caused two. him to miss the green, trying to get onto that brown. It wasn't a natural angle. He had to play it with a lot of left hand side. And that through the white offline before it got to the green. That was the reason for the miss there. Now, oh, where's the green going? Ronnie won't mind it going in. Well, that's turned out okay for Judd. in the green there. Now can he hit this full ball and get it right around the angles? He could. And that's pretty good. Just try and get the snooker over behind the brown here, possibly. That's a good effort also. shot there when you're snookered you've got to just hit it and hope you can get the ball safe and he did I think he would send the green up towards the brown That needs to travel. That needs to travel. That's, that's a careless one. Now let's see what sort of angle. If he drops the green in, is he going to slip past the brown? Three. 
Absolutely. Well, he's got a terrible contact, and the white has slipped past the brown. Yeah, that was unlucky. If he doesn't get the kick, the white actually cannons the brown out. It makes a contact with the brown. The kick actually made the angle wider, so the cue ball missed it. So I was unlucky there. He can play off the, the right-hand side of the brown as he looks at it, try and get the cue ball down behind the black. Judd Trump, three. Yeah, good shot. <laughs> Don't think there's enough sticking out. Uh, if he goes two cushions, he could leave a free ball if he doesn't hit the brown. And if he goes off one cushion, he's got to play it with the right-hand side. Difficult to judge these. Well, he did actually hit it, but he stuck the brown up. <laughs> Not far off 28 minutes for this tactical second frame. He's just looking at the angle to see if he screws back. Will he hit the blue? He might have to leave a longish blue. Four. It's not bad. That was the best he could do. He couldn't leave the blue for the middle. Nine. Well, he's left it awkward. He needs the pink. He's only 13 in front. Ronnie can draw at the moment. And he couldn't have finished worse. Ronnie's not looking, but uh, he knows that this is not a, a gimme. If he doesn't fancy the cut, he could take the double on the pink and screw in behind the black. That's not a bad choice. Play the double on the pink and you've got a chance of a snooker if you don't double it. And that's what he's played. Is the pink in? Oh, no, but he's got the snooker. What a time to pull out a Judd Trump special here. Oh, it's flicked the black. Does it cut? If it does, he'll have to go in and out of the ball, okay, you would feel, and it might be a bit too thin to do that. that cue ball he's played a cracking shot here a golden chance to take the second frame oh we've got a re-spot of in the second frame doesn't get any more dramatic than that and this is where you want to win the toss Thirty-minute frame. Both players had forty-plus breaks. Who wins the toss? It's ahead. Your choice. Judd won the toss. He's put Ronnie in. The standard safety these days, rather than going up and down the spots, is to push the black over to the right side cushion. Let's see which way Ronnie plays it. Now that leaves the possibility of a double. That's the. Problem. Does Judd take the double on? He did. But he made sure he got a good cue ball. And this is not an easy safety for Ronnie. If he tries to come thin off the black, it'll go close to the opposite corner pocket. He might even attempt that. 
So keep your eye on the black as it goes across the table. But also be careful with the cue ball. It's flying up and down the table also. Pretty good under the circumstances. <laughs> he took the difficult pot on, but keep your eye on the white. It's a sort of shot where the white will go near the right middle pocket yeah that's the only problem with Judd taking it on it was such a fine cut he was always going to leave the black here <laughs> second frame there's a bit of tension already Dennis well Ronnie's was a lot easier than the wood Judd tried uh, let's see if he can get this and be quite a roar of this black goes in And in it goes. We've had a respotted black over 30 minutes. And it's one each. It's already exciting stuff. Oh, yes. Box office stuff. We knew this is the hottest ticket in town. 32 minutes and 34 seconds. I think you said, Steve, going to the end of that frame, what a terrific frame of snooker that was. That frame had absolutely everything that was good about snooker. If you wanted to showcase to somebody who'd never seen the game before an entertaining frame to put snooker into a good light against other sports, that was it. It had everything. Massive start from Judd Trump, the big banging red and then getting a lead, missing one shot, the counterpunch from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah. Yeah, couldn't quite get on the last red, great safety play. I honestly think a couple of years ago, Judd Trump would not have won that frame. He played some fantastic tactics in that near the end of it. Certainly matured and improved in that respect. Well, that's what we talked about at the top of the programme, actually. I asked you, Steve, has Judd got enough in his locker in his all-round game to go on and win this title? And John quite rightly says his safety has vastly improved. Yeah, and you know, that's, that's effectively the apprenticeship a player does. You know, and, and it's easier to be a player with bags of talent who's raw in the tactical department and improve them in that department than have less talent, very clever tactically, and somehow have to raise your game in the potting and screw back department. So therefore, Judd Trump was, was right for the picking in being a better player, and it's just great to watch him unfold as a player, and you know, more layers are appearing. There were lots of words written pre-match, and one of the interesting things I read